Welcome to Little Steps Big Gains and today's big question with ataxia, can exercise help? Ataxia, that's a really big umbrella term that basically means a lack of coordination and this is particularly seen in balance and gait walking. Now it can be acquired. This would be from something like a stroke, maybe a brainstem tumor where we acquire ataxia. However, it can be genetic from a neurodegenerative cause, in which case the symptoms can worsen and progress with time. Now research shows that to address ataxia, rehabilitation is fundamental. But what I get asked so often from support groups is for individuals who have a degenerative form of ataxia, can exercise really help? That's what we're going to explore here by looking at the research, the facts, the evidence. We're going to jump through four articles very quickly. First on acquired ataxias, then degenerative. The third one is just a list or a mixed etiology. And then the last one is for global. That's the entire diffuse degeneration of the cerebellum. Let's look at the facts. First, acquired ataxias. Research does support improved positive functional recovery after cerebellar strokes. You can find a research article that does support this linked in the description below. It had two groups of individuals. One group that had cerebellar infarcts, so a lack of blood supply caused damage to the cerebellum. And the second group had hemorrhages, bleeding that caused damage to the cerebellum. Based on this research study, it concluded that these data confirm and extend previous reports indicating that excellent functional recovery frequently occurs among survivors of cerebellar infarction. Our second research article. Now this one's really important because it looked at cerebellar ataxia rehabilitation with individuals who have degenerative cerebellar diseases. The researchers wanted to know, are there short-term and or long-term benefits to rehabilitation, physical and occupational therapy with things like ataxia, gait, and activities of daily living? So they took 42 individuals who had pure cerebellar degeneration, and they split them up into two groups. The first group did intensive, physical and occupational therapy two hours a day during the weekdays and one hour a day on the weekends. There was a second group. They did the same program, but they did wait four weeks before they started. A little bit of a delay. Now, the exciting news is that both groups did find gains in their balance, ataxia, and their activities of daily living, showing that at the rehabilitation can help with degenerative cerebellar diseases. Now, the first group that started right away did have significantly greater gains, so start that rehabilitation sooner than later. The question is, though, what about those gains? Were they maintained with time? Five months later, they reassessed the individuals and there was a functional decline. However, 50% over half of the individuals did maintain those gains when they were active, over half. So rehabilitation can help with individuals with degenerative cerebellar disease. Our third research article looked at the assessment and treatment of postural disorders in cerebellar ataxia. And it's actually a systematic review. In other words, it reviewed a collaboration of studies, 19. And they looked at the treatment of postural disorders of cerebellar ataxia caused by five of them were on multiple sclerosis, four on degenerative cerebellar ataxias, two on stroke, and then eight articles on just various etiologies. Now, you can see that the conclusions of this study was there is now moderate level evidence that rehabilitation is efficient to improve postural capacities in patients with cerebellar ataxia, particularly in patients with degenerative ataxia or multiple sclerosis. Intensive rehabilitation programs with balance and coordination exercises 
are necessary. And last is one of my favorite research studies. And this is because the researchers, Dr. Ilg and colleagues, physiotherapist Doris Brits, wanted to know, can exercise rehabilitation be beneficial for individuals who have diffuse cerebellar degeneration? Not just focal damage, but what about the entire cerebellum? They had these individuals go through a four week intensive coordinated training program. And the exciting news was that it concluded in patients with cerebellar ataxia, coordinative training improves motor performance and reduces ataxia symptoms, enabling them to achieve purposeful, meaningful goals in everyday life. When referring to this research, Dr. Amy Bastian says this work is particularly exciting because it shows that individuals with cerebellar damage can learn to improve their movements. Despite continuing disease progression, these subjects were able to benefit from a specific training program targeting balance and gait impairments. This is a new avenue for improving motor skills and functional performance in a population of individuals previously thought to have little chance for motor recovery. If you want to learn more about that research study, I have links in the description below where I collaborated with the physiotherapist, Dr. Doris Britz, and we collaborated about the exact exercises that the participants did. You can find links as well as a free 30-day exercise program linked in that description below. So back to our big question. In ataxia, including progressive degenerative forms, can exercise help? Yes, according to their research, which you can find linked in the description below. And if you have a taxi and you're wondering, well, where do I go from here? First off, contact your physician, your neurologist, movement disorder specialist, and ask them for a prescription for physical therapy custom for you. Second, search YouTube, the internet. There are amazing free programs with things like Pilates, Tai Chi, and yoga. And then third, I'm a neuroocupational therapist and I have three programs, 30 days to create that diversity. And they are custom exercises from the research, custom for ataxia. Those are free on this channel. If you enjoyed this video or found it valuable, please share with others, like and subscribe because little steps together, we can make some big gains.